Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an applications engineer here at GoEngineer. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how we can create reports inside of SOLIDWORKS Plastics to communicate the results of our analyses to partners or others inside of our organization using an automatically generated PowerPoint file as well as a Word document. It is a fast automated report with many customizable options. So let's see how this is done. Uh, you can see I have a study ran here and under the results you can double click on the summary import option as I've done. Um, here it just gives us a basic summary of our uh, analysis so you can see the model name also some of the uh, parameters of the model and also some of the flow parameters. So we just hit the green check mark and this brings me into my report generator where we can start filling out information um, that we want to show in our report. So we can give it a title as you see here, I'll just give it a quick title, Flow Analysis for Model Manager 03. Let me give it a date. And of course, all of these things are optional. These are not necessarily required uh, to be in the report, but if you would like to add that information in there, you can. I'll just finish out here, write my name in there as the author. We can click on the Introduction tab. Here I can just, I'm just going to add some specific notes. Again, you can put whatever you like here. I'm just going to say uh, the mode fills correctly. Uh, maybe specify in there air traps at the end of fill. And maybe one more line that says um, numerous well lines. Okay. There's also a special notes tab where you can add any additional information that you would like to show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the generate image file and here is where I can specify the different results and images that I would like to show in the report. Um, you can see you can have material parameters shown as, uh, in our reports. Uh, I'm going to click on the results tab uh, here. And I'm going to select uh, the max inlet pressure and also the Y direction clamping force. Uh, I'm going to click on the flow tab and select some of the options here as well, such as fill time, pressure at the end of fill, um, sink marks, ease of fill. And again, you can select any combination of these that you would like to show inside of the report. So that's uh, specifically up to you. Once you've selected everything, you can go ahead and say OK. And the software will go ahead and start generating those projects. Now what you will see is images will briefly appear on the screen as they generate. And this is just uh, SOLIDWORKS creating those reports for us. At the end of the report generation, you will get a message to set the report generation finished. Do you want to save it to another folder? If you say no here, it's just going to place the report in the analysis folder where the model is located. However, we can't specify another location as I'm doing here. So I selected yes, um, and I'm just going to save it out to my desktop. Say OK. So now I can go and browse to my desktop. And there you will see the folder with the different uh, reports. Now there is an animation file for uh, filling that you can look at. Uh, also you will see the PowerPoint and the Word document. So if I open up the PowerPoint here really quickly you can see the report here and again you can use um, any of the tools inside the Microsoft PowerPoint to uh, modify the information or change the template. You could also um, if we look at the Word document here Again, we can use the options inside of Microsoft Word to um, modify. So there you have it, a quick way to be able to generate reports to share uh, information about our analyses in SOLIDWORKS Plastics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.